Hey y'all, how's it going? Um, welcome to Seed to Plate channel. My name is Brooke. Um, if you're new here, uh, we talk all things urban and suburban gardening here as well as some cooking. I have next to me my blueberry bush um, and she is blossoming um, in January because that's how the South works. Um, but this was a gift from some of uh, me and my partner's dearest friends. Um, and we have kept it alive since they gave it to us last spring? Last spring. Um, my intention is once we move on to a bigger property, my intention is to actually put this in the ground. But until then, it's gonna live in a pot. And blueberry bushes and other types of berry bushes and like small trees, those are really good things to get started if you want to move on to a bigger property, um, but you wanna kinda get a head start on getting some of these plants going for you. Today we have a blueberry bush, and the thing about blueberry bushes is blueberry bushes need a friend. Um, they need another blueberry bush to cross pollinate with. However, it does not have to be the same variety. So I tried to get two different varieties last year and between the squirrels digging them up and then our Great Dane um, thinking that it was a stick for her to chew on, I have no more friends for my big beautiful blueberry bush. <laughs> I bought some bare root blueberry bushes. Now, when I was looking on if I should make this video on YouTube, the other videos that I found about planting blueberries required um, like a lot of supplies. They required well, putting, putting blueberry bushes in pots, it seemed like there was a bunch of different soils and you needed to buy like some big, beautiful plant to be successful. And I'm here to tell you that none of that's true. <laughs> or maybe it is, um, and maybe it's just a different way. Um, but you don't necessarily need to do that, or at least I don't think you do. So this blueberry plant we got, and it was probably only about half the size it is now. Um, and a couple of things. So blueberry plants really like acidic soil. I have an acid lovers fertilizer. This is a Fox Farm fertilizer. Um, I got it for 25% off because the bag was broken and it's taped together at the bottom. <laughs> Coincidentally, I also used this fertilizer on my peppers last year and my peppers kicked butt. So um, the thing about potted blueberries is they just need a little bit of fertilizer. They need a little more acidic soil. Um, but other than that, I've had success not doing all the other crazy things. <laughs> so today we have two different kinds of blueberries. Um, this one is called a pink lemonade and it is this kind of like reddish berry. And then the other variety is called legacy. Now the one thing I will say, I did get these at Home Depot before anybody, you know, is upset. Um, I did get these at Home Depot because I kind of wanted to replicate what the normal person's experience is like. I live in Austin, Texas where we have a bunch of amazing, very like, you know, hippie garden centers, right? Where I can go get stuff. Um, but most people are, you know, don't live in a massive city with that, that stuff. So this is probably one of your best options is to buy a bare root um, blueberry plant. So these were only $10 each. Um, so I think with some care and some love and for $20, you can end up with really good blueberries in a few years. So the biggest ingredient with berries, um, especially berry bushes, is time. Um, so you gotta be willing to put in the time and the effort to um, get the blueberries. I did get one single blueberry off of this plant last year. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, it was the best blueberry I've ever had. <laughs> The thing you wanna look for on your blueberries that you're buying, and I did find some at my store that were uh, incorrectly there. You want to look at the zone. So this says hardy in zones five through eight. The reason this is important is because blueberry bushes especially require a certain number of chill hours. Um, and so when I lived in the Midwest, we used to get the most amazing blueberries from Michigan. So obviously those are gonna have a lot of chill hours because Michigan is cold. Um, something that we are in short supply of in the south, because I live in Texas, um, are chill hours. So you have to make sure you choose varieties that don't have that many chill hours or are for your zone. Hi buddy. Hey boy, that's fertilizer. Don't put your face in that. Yeah. Okay. I love you. So chill hours are very important for whatever varieties you choose. Um, 
if you if it doesn't say anything about chill hours which it probably won't if you're going to be in a big bigger box store then make sure you look at what zones that those plants are hardy from i did see some blueberry plant options at my home depot that were only up to a zone seven and granted we are in well we're in 8b we're practically almost zone nine so make sure you look at that so both of these varieties um this pink lemonade variety is hardy in zones um five through nine. So this one actually might be even better um, than the other one, but we're gonna plant both. Acidic soil or acidic fertilizer, make sure you get them that are proper for your zone or have enough chill hours. So do a little bit of research there or make sure you read the labels. Now, planting these is like not rocket science. So we have our pot filled with soil. We are going to take, honestly guys, I'm the worst. Follow the directions on your fertilizer. I fertilize like I cook and I just do it in handfuls. So, you know, probably not the best advice you've ever been given, but that's what I do. Probably do a little bit more. So three small handfuls initially to kind of get your soil started. When you unpackage your blueberries, they're gonna kind of come out in like one whole piece. It's honestly a little bit weird. So you're gonna, this is what you're gonna find when you take your blueberry plant out. Now, the stuff that they use to pack these has to be rinsed off your plant. Um, it's meant to stay very, very damp so that the plants don't die. It's like this weird orangey color. So I'm gonna get as much off as I can by just kind of like manipulating it. You'll get down to some actual dirt. See, you get down to like real dirt, but um, I'm going to take this over to my hose and just get it really rinsed off and get the roots kind of rehydrated. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So this is what we're left with. We're just left with some really good looking roots. Um, still a little bit of the bark. You're never going to be able to get all of it off. Um, but the biggest thing is you really want to untangle your bottom roots because those are going to be your roots that need to make their way into the soil. So I'm just going to kind of break these up untangle these guys and even if you have to break a couple that's not the end of the world um, but these plants they get so packed for shipping and storage that they really almost need to kind of be brought back to life so now that I have my bottom roots nice and free I'm going to I don't know where my tool went so I'm just gonna use my hand I'm just going to dig a little bit of a hole and stick this guy in you don't want to put the soil too far up. You want to make sure it's really like level with where the plant is at. And then you just want to water it in. And because the Acid Lovers fertilizer is a slow release fertilizer, this fertilizer will just very slowly release into the plant so that it doesn't completely shock it. So that's really all there is to it. Um, I'm really excited to have more blueberries and It'll still take a couple of years for these to produce, but um, it's a good time to plant. Um, these are already blossoming. I might not get that many off of this one because it doesn't have anything to cross pollinate with. Um, but stuff like this, I love planting because it makes me think about the future um, and having a big future blueberry bush that some of our best friends gave us. So that's all today, keeping the video nice and short um, as a tutorial. Um, and the wind's picking up, so it's probably a really good time for me to end this video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Happy gardening, and we'll see you next time.